Ever since I was a young girl, I loved science. I would love any class that included science in it. And nearing college, and as a full IB diploma student, it made all the sense that I would take two HL science classes. I figured I would do well in it because I love doing it. And you know what? That's not happening. Hours and hours of lab work, deadline after deadline, test week after week. And what I find is the passion just gets beaten out of me. And because I'm losing a little bit of passion for science, sometimes over lengthy projects I find that I procrastinate. And I found myself scrolling through YouTube and I watched a TED talk. And then the guy in the TED talk was talking about the ideal school. The students walk in and out at the times that they want. They learn whatever they want. They don't have grades, they don't have levels. They don't have to stay in classes for an hour and 25 minutes. What drives them forward is passion. Let's say I wanted to learn about quantum mechanics. They're not gonna give me a packet and say, these are the theories you need to learn. Instead, I'll discover it myself with the resources that the school provides me. In an article from the Creativity Post by Rebecca Macmillan, she includes a study called the Dualistic Model of Passion. And it's a model based on a variety of activities given to a variety of ages. And what they found is that there are two types of passion. There's the harmonious passion, there's the obsessive passion. And obsessive passion is derived from control. Harmonious passion, on the other hand, is an automatic response. The person wants to do it because they love to do it. And what they found is when a person is driven by obsessive passion, since it's derived control, it doesn't have long-term adaptive effects. The student doesn't stick to what they're doing. Harmonious passion, on the other hand, since it's automatic and the student loves to do what they do, they stick to it in the long run and they do it because they love it, and they do more of it. Unstructured schooling, without a structure, at its heart is a student's passion. It prioritizes that. And the student follows what they're passionate about. So how can unstructured schooling principles, one that prioritizes student passion, be put into a structured school? Adding just 15 to 20 minutes, or a little bit in the class, for exploration, for the student to follow what they're passionate about in a certain subject, be it math, science, or history. Even that small amount of time is enough to ignite student passion again for that subject. And we've already concluded that student passion is what drives their learning. If I had 15 or 20 minutes in a chem class to just explore, sure, I might blow something up, but at least I found answers to the questions that I was looking for, for things I want to discover. This, this box where the teacher just speaks, it doesn't work. It just sucks the passion out of the student. And if you just give, keep giving them packets, sure they'll get answers, sure they'll get 100% of the test, but they're not driven by passion for exploring or discovering answers to the questions that they have. I'm not here to start a revolution and tell you, teachers, just say school is over. Tell your students that passion should drive them forward and study whatever they want. Instead, find 15 to 20 minutes in class time to ignite that student passion. Use it as a catalyst to push the student forward and create an environment that reimagines learning. Thank you.